Welcome to Newswatch, focusing on the Deliver for Good campaign's newly launched Business Ally Network, a unique platform for cross-sector, cross-issue collaboration. To tell us more about it, we have Anna van Acker uh, from Merck Canada and Carolyn Tastad from PNG. Ladies, it's great to have you with us. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Carolyn, let me begin with you. Uh, what role can the private sector play in encouraging others to invest in gender equality? I, I think the private sector has a tremendous role to play in this. Uh, at PNG, we have many, we've made gender equality at the heart of many of our business uh, strategies. Many of our brands are made uniquely for women. If you think about Olay, Pantene, Always, uh, secret, and so from that standpoint, our brands are made for women, our employees are women, our stakeholders, consumers are women, and so we believe we have a responsibility to continue to advance gender equality, uh, and not only a responsibility, an obligation almost. An obligation. Anna, based on your experience driving collaboration across sectors, what are the most important elements of partnerships uh, that help create a healthy business and a healthy society? Yeah. So I think first of all, uh, at Merck, we really have a very strong company mission. And I think that's one of the, I would say, key success factors to really, if private sector joins a bigger health issue to drive solutions, it really needs to play into how you, at yes. the company level, have a specific strength, a specific asset, a specific passion around it, but it, it should play into the company mission as well. So at Merck, we have a very specific program to give you an example, which is called Merck for Mothers, which is really a program that is designed with a big ambition to make sure that no woman has to die because of pregnancy or because of giving uh, birth, because most of these deaths are preventable. So for that, we kind of invested $500 million over 10 years, and we are really looking at three pillars of success. One is about empowering women, the second one is about really equipping healthcare providers, and the third one is looking at healthcare systems and how we can strengthen those. Well, based on the work that has been done so far, we already have reached 9.2 million women, and we actually have trained more than 120,000 professionals. So that's kind of, I think, where at least from our point of view, our mission of improving and saving patients' lives really comes together with a huge impact on humanity, on health, through, for example, the Merck for Mothers uh, program. That's incredible. Uh, today, at Women Deliver t 2019, you announced the Deliver for Good Business Ally Network. As a founding member, tell us what the network is all about. From our perspective, the network is about partnership, and the network is about private and public partnership to continue to advance gender equality. Women Deliver has had this great Deliver for Good campaign, and now as founding members of the Business Ally Network, uh, we have the opportunity to bring these partnerships to life. And partnerships are important because none of us can do this on our own. You know, as we think about the partnerships that we have to do work in this space, it's very important to find people with that same like-mindedness, that same commitment level to gender equality, and then finding- Even if outside the private sector. Absolutely, and then finding people and finding partners who have complementary capabilities. Okay. So perhaps a couple of examples. Within our Always brand, uh, our Always brand works with a number of partnerships, Save the Children, UNESCO, UN Women, to really bring feminine hygiene products to girls, to bring education to girls as they go through puberty. And as a result of those partnerships and that overall program, we reach 17 million girls every year. You know, our Children's Safe Drinking Water program is all about partnerships, where we have committed to deliver 25 million liters of safe drinking water uh, to underserved communities by 2025. And uh, again, that we think about that in our Women and Girls program because women and girls certainly bear a disproportionate 
uh, responsibility in those places that suffer from water crises. So, uh, so this is really, again, about partnerships. Within our Children's Safe Drinking Water program, we have 150 partnerships in so many parts of the world. So Deliver for Good and the Business Ally Network is about private and public partnership, bringing together complementary resources so that we can all have a greater impact and advance and accelerate gender equality in the world. Um, one of the pillars of the Deliver for Good campaign focuses on shifting the narrative around girls and women. Calling them victims is in itself a violation of their rights. Yeah, we you know we spend a lot of time at, certainly at PNG with uh, myself and a colleague of mine. We've spent a lot of time on narratives, yeah. and there are some common narratives today for women and girls that in many cases are getting in the way now. I've been looking at that and we've been looking at that through a workplace lens. Mm. And if you think about that, what often happens is that women get labeled, women's behavior get label, gets labeled in comparison to male behavior. If you think about a uh, leadership, uh, there's very often times that we think about uh, women's leadership relative to male leadership, or we compare it, and then if women's leadership shows up as different from male leadership, and it often does, it gets labeled as lacking or less than. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple of examples, we, we talk about women lacking confidence or lacking ambition or fearing failure, and Anna has heard these as many times as I have, and I believe all of that to be false. But I do believe we socialize women differently than men or girls differently than boys. And as a result, some of this false narrative takes effect. And so the notion of victims, the notion of any situation where we think about women or girls as lacking is what we really have to eradicate. Uh, and we think about those as myths when the reality in our world today, the facts in front of us certainly disprove that every day. You agree, Anna? Absolutely, I agree, certainly. Uh, you are championing, uh, championing gender equality both inside your organization and outside. What call to action would you offer to companies that want to step up for girls and women and collaborate more effectively to achieve gender equality? Yeah. So first of all, I would say engage uh, internally and externally. Yes. Uh, that's one piece of it. But of course, you cannot propagate certain uh, policies and certain approaches if you cannot walk the talk from the inside out view. So it's critically important also as a company that we are walking the talk. So that means gender equality in terms of how we are based in our workforce, but it also means that we need that differ differentiation of opinion. We need those different approaches because women are approaching challenges very different than men. So it's really into that mix uh, which is actually something for the better good. And we all know that, for example, if women are in the mix, that businesses are thriving. We also know for a pharmaceutical company that 80% of the decisions that are being made in health and healthcare are made by women. So inside of the company, we really have to reflect the community, be it men, women, or be it multi-generational, because we also need to bring uh, the younger uh, women uh, on board. Again, there's still a lot of work to do, but once we have have that internal dynamic, again, I think women would be very, very on top of the outside uh, things that we can do in terms of girls and women, because of course these women are also connected in their own communities. And would you say that the business uh, ally network will be the catalyst uh, pushing forward the campaign? I, I think certainly it will be one of the many catalysts that we have. I think Women Deliver has done an outstanding job of bringing people together in those partnerships, and I think this is one of those great examples. Yeah. All right, now to wrap up, you know that here at, World De uh, at Women Deliver 2019, uh, we are all making commitments. How will you use your power to push forward the agenda? So I can perhaps start. I mean, I think uh, at the end of the day, I think it all comes together. And again, it speaks to the, the business ally network that we really need that, that diversity of experiences, of assets, of strengths, of footprints. 
but I also think it comes down to the connection into where the girls and the women are, make sure they are empowered, make sure that they can make the difference and that we listen very carefully for, to them. Because a lot of these girls and women, and I speak to the projects we have, even the projects we have here in Canada, they really need to be cultural sensitive, they need to be really uh, connected to what traditions are, to some of the, I would say, biases and barriers there are. But at the end of the day, I think it comes down to in the private public collaboration about persistence. I would call it grit. No, it's kind of the combination of passion and persistence, because again, it is a dance. It is not all fluid. Uh, and if we need to do those partnerships, we have to learn from each other. We have to contribute from each other. We have to listen to each other. And then I think at the end of the day, I would seriously uh, say power to power through because that's what it will need. It will need a lot of time and a lot of experience, but also a lot of grit and persistence to make it happen. Great, Carolyn, your pledge. From an impact standpoint, uh, we at P&G and myself personally will continue to work very hard for gender equality and as a member of this business ally network, continue to work with those partners that complement our capabilities. And, and when, that, when I say partners, we mean public, private, NGOs, government, even competitors. This is a common agenda, not a competitive agenda. And so we are routinely working with, with our competition to move this agenda forward. So uh, continue to partner with great intentionality, and I like what Anna said, the intentionality is what helps us accelerate the progress. So perhaps uh, moving forward with intentionality and some level of impatience. <laughs> a concerted effort. Ladies, it's been a real pleasure having you here with us today. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. Thank you.